Hemant Biswas Sharma, once with the Congress, now with the BJP. Many believe he's the kingmaker of Assam. He's with Ankit Tyagi. Ankit, over to you because I want to ask Hemant Biswas Sharma, who does he, is this his biggest moment in politics? He has defeated his one-time mentor, Tarun Gogoi. We're trying to get through to Ankit Tyagi there, who's with Hemant Biswas Sharma, and we're trying to go there live in a moment. The line is still not coming through. But this is a tectonic change that we've seen in Assam. I mean, whichever way you look at it, are we seeing also that social coalition that the Congress brought, the Ali Kuli coalition that was often, you know, pejoratively referred to by the Congress in building its base in Assam, is that all crumbling? We're seeing social coalitions of the Congress crumble in other states. This time, are we seeing it, Yogendra, in Assam too? Uh, we had the beginning of crumbling of this uh, coalition when AUDF came to power, you know, started winning seats in Assam. Uh, that clearly was a significant change happening. What we have is that change now being carried forward. I just want to go back to Hemant Biswas. Ankit, if you can hear me now, I want to ask Hemant Biswas, does he think this is his biggest moment in politics, defeating Tarun Gogoi, or are there mixed feelings? Let me just put that across uh, to Hemant Biswas himself. He is, in fact, watching India today for the results. Uh, Mr. Biswas, Rajdeep wants to know whether this is the biggest moment of your political life. You are defeating your uh, nearest ally. You was with Mr. Gogoi. Now it seems that uh, you are heading for uh, a victory in Assam. No, Rahul Gandhi humiliated like me like anything. Gogoi humiliated like me anything. So, in a personal note, this is a sweet victory. I am grateful to the people of Assam. But the story is bigger. People have not voted for Himanta Bisha Sharma or Gogoi's rivalry. People of Assam has voted for our identity so that identity can be preserved. People have voted for development. Yes. So, all hope is on Narendra Modi and Amit Shah. The, the entire election was very... Uh, very systematically planned by Amit Shah, blazed by Narendra Modi ji. Mm. And I sincerely hope that after this result, uh, central government should help Assam in a huge way. I also saw that even right now, and I also saw your tweets in the morning, you have been uh, congratulating and thanking Amit Shah, the party president, the prime minister, also Mr. Ram Madha. Mr. Sonowal seems to be missing from your congratulatory tweets. Uh, is it because, uh, uh, because Mr. Sarma is still hoping that he may become the chief no, minister no, of the state? No, no. Sonowal and me, we are from the people of Assam. So we are expressing gratitude which is not from Assam. So you, I mean, Sonowal will be chief minister, there will be no doubt because we have already promised to the people of Assam. But it is this election victory, it is Amit Shah who has encouraged us to go for this grand alliance. Yes. Narendra Modi came thrice and addressed 14 meetings and Ram Madhav was almost handhold the election. Yeah. So it is a gratitude from the people of Assam to someone who is not belongs to our state. Where do you see yourself personally going? Are you going to the center? You are going to stick to the state itself? Uh, my responsibility as a convener of election committee will be end at 4 p.m. Thereafter, I am disposal of BJP. And I'm I have no personal ambition. I wanted to see that the, the, the way Rahul wants to handle... Yes, yes Rajdeep. Yes, Rajdeep. I just, want to, I just want to ask Hemant Biswas Sarma whether it is true or not. He can now say it on TV. Is it true that Rahul Gandhi kept him waiting for several weeks so he went to Amit Shah's house and when he reached Amit Shah's house, Rahul Gandhi SMSed him or tried to phone him and Hemant Biswas said it is too late. Was, is his anger against Rahul Gandhi and the way he was treated that led him to go to the BJP in the first place? Yeah. That, that's what he said in the, um, in, you know, in the beginning. Rajdeep says that now, of course, you can confirm it to us. There is a story that uh, Mr. Gandhi, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, kept you waiting for a while and then you decided to go to Mr. Amit Shah and that was the time when he no, sent no, you an SMS no, but no. you said it's too late. No, no, no. The story is little different. Okay. Rahul gave me audience. I made him eight, nine times. Hmm. But problem is that when you talk to Rahul, the uh, discussion was so light that even the dogs come in between. He start plays with the dog, not with the human, hmm. when you talk with him. Hmm. So Rahul has given me interview. How can he say I cannot meet him? He has to meet us. Hmm. But the problem is he is not sincere. Of course, when that day I joined BJP, that day he tried to contact me in a more personal note, mm. and which I refused. I said, time is up for you now. Mm. So, Mr. Sharma, if, the, if, if there is a possibility, if there is a cabinet reshuffle, you are ready to go to Delhi if the Prime Minister wants you to? No, uh, I am at disposal of BJP. I joined BJP. I am just six months fresher. Yeah. I have no personal ambition, no big hope. Yeah. But I am very happy 
that Rahul has got the lesion. He should not prefer blue blood people. He should, uh, he, his idea of blue blood has been got big. So his anger is against God of Gogoi. Yeah. Second point, when I he says blue blood, is it God of Gogoi? Assam has voted for preserving our identity and so, development. So, so basically, when when you're calling uh, blue blood, you say God of Gogoi. I mean, no. Mr. Mr. Gogoi should have trusted you more than his son. No, no, Rahul himself is a blue blood. Huh? In Congress today, if you see Rahul in Parliament. The six people surrounded him, all are blue blood. Hmm. So Congress is as of now blue blood. Yes. Okay. So till Congress replace blue blood culture, there is no future, and we have well, we have we have we have proved it. That's the wisdom coming in from uh, you know from somebody who has been the Congress, and today he's on the winning side, Rajdeep. So of course, uh, uh, possibly there may be some uh, seriousness to wait and for the Congress a lesson, as Mr. Sharma says uh, in a sir. Okay, well, Hemant Biswas Sarma, congratulations on your big victory. Blue blood indeed. Let me turn to Shashi Tharoor. Mr. Tharoor, Hemant Biswas Sarma is saying the problem with the Congress is, is that Rahul Gandhi surrounds himself with blue blood. Are you part of this blue blooded Congress as a result of which you've suffered even in your home state of Kerala? I know in Kerala you all don't say you have blue blood, but is there a problem? Today is a bad day for the Congress. Will you concede? I've bled a lot in recent years and it hasn't looked blue to me, uh, Raji, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll concede uh, nothing yet in the sense that I'm not conceding any outcome definitively, but the trends are clearly pretty grim. And, uh, and looking at it, uh, even though you know that the match isn't over until the last ball is bowled, mm -hmm. uh, clearly the, 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 the trends are not at all, uh, uh, shall we say, satisfying for us. Uh, throughout the country and here where I am in Kerala and Tiruvananthapuram, uh, we've seen some very, very disappointing setbacks. You know, uh, that's, you know, uh, what has gone wrong, whether it's in Kerala, whether it's in Assam, do you believe there's something inherently wrong with your party? Hemantabas Biswas, of course, putting all the blame at Rahul Gandhi's door. Has, is something fundamentally wrong, even beyond Rahul Gandhi? Something fundamentally wrong? People no, I, are now I, I looking at options beyond the Congress. No, I think state assembly elections are not a referendum on the national uh, situation, and I think that's a very facile mistake to make. In Assam, we've had very good governance for 15 years, but a certain amount of voter fatigue has clearly set in after 15 years. Uh, and I don't think uh, that should entirely surprise us, given that Sheila Dixit was a very effective and popular chief minister in Delhi, but after 15 years, people felt it was time for a change. These are local factors. Mm -hmm. Similarly, in, uh, in Bengal, it's clear, and it was clear before the campaign, that after 34 years of left rule, people were not about to dump Mamta Banerjee after just giving her one term. Right. Therefore, the attempt to unseat her was always an uphill task. In Kerala, as you all know, the actual pattern has been more than four and a half decades. The pattern has been for the incumbent government not to be re-elected. Every single election... No, I has witnessed a change of government. We were trying to make history here, and we thought we had a chance of making history because for five years the UDF government has a remarkable record in terms of the implementation of development projects. But clearly that wasn't enough. Sir, if, you know, if some of the negatives that were broadcast. Sir, if your record is so good in Kerala, so good in Assam, then you should be voted back. Let's be clear, I think the Congress is living in denial. My fear is you keep saying, don't, these elections are not a referendum on the central leadership, but the central leadership has to show some kind of, you know, some kind of uh, energy to fight an election. You heard Hemanto Biswa Sarma saying, when he would meet Rahul Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi would be playing with his dogs. He wasn't focusing on the election and the, and the urgency of the situation. Are you all willing to concede that you all don't have the no, hunger me. that an Amit Shah and Narendra Modi have? They are hungry for success. There's fire in the belly, which is missing in your party today. Your party has blue-blooded people who are there because they are their father's children. Well, as you know, uh, my father had nothing to do with politics. You're talking to the wrong guy on that. But let's be wary of uh, politics by anecdote, because uh, if on a particular day, at a particular moment, a dog runs into a room, yes. that isn't some sort of metaphor for the entire attitude of the leader concerned. I think it just happens to be a certain moment which I think is being blown out of proportion. 
because anecdotes are anecdotes. You should see them for what they are. Okay. In terms of political uh, uh, revival, very clearly uh, there is need for change in the Congress party. And I think you will find that congressmen generally would like to see some definitive action being taken to revive, refresh and renew the party. Uh, so just clearly, hold on. We can't just continue. Uh, uh, with with tried and tested ways of doing things, there so are that's some the closest. Do differently. That's the better. closest I'm probably going to get. We can't draw the wrong conclusions. That's the closest I'm probably going to get to some kind of serious introspection by the Congress that we need to change the way we fight elections, our strategies. I want you to hold on to that.